Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vilo Vilo Vilo. And today we're gonna be blasting the 2019 demo from Pestilence. Fuck yeah! On Iron Bonehead Records. Thank you so much once more, John Randall. You are the fucking man. Sick guy from the sunshine, sunshine state. I appreciate all this sick stuff. This helps the channel more than you could possibly imagine. Seriously, fucking hails. And I feel like people have been reading my mind lately. Like, because I have been, like, fiending about getting a copy of this, but I just haven't had the funds for it and back in 2000 2014 I fucked up and missed the Vault of Dried Bones release of this fucking savage display of auditory violence that is Terror Oath's self-titled demo holy shit yo this is what happens when you get some of the best names from the Pacific Northwest underground scene and mix them with, like, New Zealand. That, like, kind of New Zealand war metal sound that VK is very, very famous for as this international act actually has VK on guitar and vocals. Alongside, like, Tim Cole, um... Everyone else, I just know by their, you know, stage names, as this was, well, this act of violence was recorded live in the Wear Goat Bunker in 2012. So, you know, immediately, it's like, fuck yeah. And I really like the new artwork as well that Iron Bonehead did with this vinyl release like because this has been sold out for a long time on cassette so it's i am beyond fucking happy to have this on vinyl but we also have nocturnal hell fucker on bass and vocals indiscriminate impregnator on guitar and vocals and the mighty sado seducer on drums tim cull from fucking every band ever from Mournful Congregation to Wear Goat. Tim Cole is one of my favorite drummers. Even Soma Free Institute, like fuck yeah, Tim. And this is just amazing. If you're a fan of Bestial Black Death War Metal and for some reason you have yet to hear Terror Oath self-titled, this is E-fucking-sensual war metal. Seriously. Like, it's so insane. But, like, just on the money. It's so fucking on the money with not only what you probably expect, but, like, at the same time, Blending, like, the bestial Black Death, like, vibes of the Pacific Northwest, which I do feel are different than some other scenes and whatnot. I feel like they're a lot more experimental instead of just sticking to the straight Ross Bay cult formula. Like, this is just a savage display of violence. Seriously, it really is. It sounds like literally someone is being murdered. And this will be the soundtrack to that person's demise. This etching is very badass. Ah, uh, I should have grabbed the light. It's... I'll show you what this etching is. It's a little hard to see here. But it's fucking sick. Because this is a three song, like, EP slash demo. I don't know what you want to call this. If it's a demo, if it's an EP, it's kind of a little bit of both, I would say. I mean, it's not like this is a new recording either. It's just finally made available again 
this time on fucking vinyl, and it sounds absolutely awesome. Like, I instantly was like... What the fuck? Like, even the first time I heard this, like, on Bandcamp, I was just, like, blown the fuck away. But this is what the etching is on the other, on the B side of the vinyl. Fucking sick. Like, wow. And this is what happens when you get members of Ascended Dead, Wear Goat, Ritual Necromancy, Hands of Thieves, Autophagy, Vasifer. Jesus Christ. I mean, name every band VK's in, Tim Cull. Etc. Etc. Like, holy shit. This is so fucking good. And it's one of those things, like, dude. If you're a fan of hateful, savage, bestial, black death war metal, this is 666% fucking essential listening. Like, three tracks, you have Terror Oath, Drunk on the Blood of Eternal Triumph, and Desolation Command. It's fucking, it, it's just amazing. Every single thing about this release is amazing. And the fact that this was recorded in the Were Goat's Lair, oh, oh, that just like made me so stoked. When I read that here, like, I was just like, oh my god, I don't, I don't believe they added that in there. That's awesome, because like I said, I never grabbed this physically. And now that it's in my hands on vinyl, I just am like, all fucking grins. It's Easter Sunday too, so you know, fuck you, Jesus. We're gonna listen to some Terror Oath and fucking crush the cross but seriously this is more on the lines of just straight up misanthropic hateful just violence I, I don't know if it's geared towards any particular like human being I think it's just towards mankind in general to be honest with you because like the fact that they even call this EP slash demo an act of violence that was recorded live, it puts a smile on my face because you already know what to expect here. And that's fucking war metal gold. Terror Oath, do not fuck around, and I just absolutely love this stuff. And Tim Cole, once again, He's one of those guys like Greg Wilkinson who gets mentioned on this channel probably more than anyone else. And rightfully so. Parasitic Records alone is one of my favorite record labels. I love Wear Goat. We have a new Sentinel Dusk record coming out as well. I, I love Tim's work and Terror Oath is just another notch on his belt of amazing music that he's taken part in writing and this is just so fucking good and when you have vk on vocals again you kind of should know if you're into you know bestial black death metal what to expect and his vocals on here are just j insane sounding it sounds like literally like someone fucking keyed his car up and he's he found the culprit and is just screaming in this dude's face. Just, it, it's fucking sick. And I love the fact that they put the lyrics on here. Like, it just adds to how gnarly this release is. Terror Oath, Extermination Rites of the Annihilator, Sworn Enemy of Life, Destroyer of All Things Divine. Yeah, this is fucking awesome. And that's all I can really say about Terror Oath self-titled. Originally on Volta Dry Bones, but reissued, thankfully, on vinyl by Iron Bonehead Productions. 
This is a goddamn work of bestial black death art. If you're a fan of that genre, you're going to absolutely fucking love this record. Like... I feel like it has some sick ass riffs on it. I saw some people saying it has everything but riffs and I'm just like, yeah, I think we're listening to two different bands here. Like, Terror Oat fucking have all bases covered when it comes to their savage display of sonic violence. It's fucking great. And the fact that this is an international affair makes it all the more special and I really do hope we have more in store in the future from Terror Oath as this three track intro is such a goddamn dick tease I felt like I had blue balls listening to this beast but I really really have to thank fucking everyone that watches this channel like seriously because without you I don't know what I would be doing, like, when it comes to just music in general right now, but John Randall down in Tampa, you are the fucking man, and I swear you read my mind, because I've been posting this on Facebook, like, constantly. As soon as this was, like, thrown up on vinyl, I was like, yo, they reissued Terror Oath self-titled? Fuck yeah, and I did not think... I would get my hands on this bad boy. And absolutely just gorgeous cosmetics as to expect from Iron Bonehead. I really wish I had like a light or something to show you the fucking skull that's on the etching on the back because it's just, it's fucking sick. Terror Oath nail it here. 33 RPMs of fucking violent bestial black death metal you can't go wrong with this if you're a fan of the genre if you're new to the genre this is a great starting point if you want to get into bestial black death metal and don't want to go the blasphemy sarcophago route get in the terror oath on volt of dried bones digitally and if you can find the tape do it but i highly suggest Grabbing the vinyl from Iron Bonehead Productions because this sounds so fucking good. And I'm pretty sure VK remixed it or remastered it for vinyl. And it, it just sounds great. For what this is, oh my god. Recorded live at the Weregoat Slayer. Oh, yeah. You should know what you're getting into here with Terror Oath. And that is... Fucking awesome war metal. Mixing, like I said, the Pacific Northwest and, like, New Zealand. It's just so fucking sick. And we were blasting the new demo from uh, Pestilence. Awesome stuff on Iron Bonehead Productions as well. Thank you again, John Randall. You're the fucking man. And thank you for watching this and whatnot. As always, thanks for watching. Hey.